Alrighty for dark channel charges. I'm on my Siren 17 and uh, I'm going to measure where I've got my wiring coming up through the top of the cabin. What I've done is uh, drilled a hole through the cabin and uh, installed this through hole. This is a trailer wiring harness plug. And uh, the reason I use that is I didn't have anything else. This is quick. The uh, wires go into another round uh, jacketed thing, which I put a, a, a silicone stuff in to protect it from uh, water intrusion. I've also used uh, butyl tape. Uh, that's what this gray stuff is. And uh, this is simply a pressure fit thing. There's a rubber there that uh, squeezes down on the wire. When this is tightened, as you can see, I've just done this really quick and easy, and I've used some wood screws to hold it down. Those are half inch screws. And the distance between here and here, I would say is probably six inches from the center of the, where the mast goes. Let's find out. Yeah. From the center, I'd say five and a half inches. So I've done this on a 45 degree angle to the port side. Let's go inside and take a look at how I've got this wires run. The boat's a bit of a mess because I've just come back from the weekend of sailing. I love small boats. They're really handy. Get them out. But they're also really small. I have to clean this out yet, but it's not going to be today. I'm uh, fighting a cold. So this has been a modification that some the previous owners done. Same thing with the other one on the on the uh, top of the cabin. I imagine that they were demasted at some point and had to repair it. I've never removed this. I'm not going to unless it starts leaking. Uh, if it does that, then I'll uh, look at it and see what the problem is. Things like this aren't just owner modifications. Something's gone terribly wrong and somebody's cobbled it together. So here's where my wire goes through the uh, cabin. And this is how I've got it held down. These are just peel and stick clips. You can undo them. You can do them back up again. Kind of ratchet. I have it running through my light. Just drill the hole there. I drilled the hole on the wrong side the first time. But anyways, it goes through the light, uh, which should work. There we go. So they go through and then I've just has them going over and across and down. You can get a jacketed cover that uh, will make it look much nicer than what I've done. I just did this really quick to get, get out and uh, be able to get out and cruise for the summer. Here's how I hide the wires going back to the, uh, the fuse box. And I've just pushed them all up underneath there. So I have three wires here. I have the one that is for the light, I have the one that's for the anchor light on top of the mast, and I have one for the solar charger. That's why that plug on top has four, four things. One, two of them are used for the solar charger, which is here. I've marked them with yellow and green. They go into the corresponding plugs. So I can put my solar charger on the roof, hook it on, and uh, charge the batteries. It works really well. This, I've got an eight, 18 volt or something Coleman thing. Uh, it does a good job. Uh, I don't know how. Well, I've got two batteries. Yeah, I can leave the light on for a week and uh, the batteries are still good. Uh, where was I? Oh, so the wires all run back. There's also a in hidden in here is another wire that goes to the bow light, the steaming light. 
here's where all the wires come in. This wire here is my power feed. It's an old extension cord. So the power into my box. I just wanted to be able to have a different. Everything else is speaker wire. This cheap old speaker wire. This is a, a marine fuse panel. It uh, just uses glass fuses. They're uh, pretty simple. And uh, I've got three 12 volt charging plugs so I can charge my phone, I can charge camera, whatever I can plug in there. I also have these little fans. It's uh, called a muffin fan. You hear it running. They don't move a ton of air, but the amount that they move, it actually does a really good job. I've got another one on the other side that I've pulled the wires out of. I've got to rewire. What they do, the air that they move, that's enough air to, to keep this cool in the summer. So you can be out in the, in the, in the full sun, and you can be inside here, and that little bit of air movement is just fabulous. It makes a world of difference. I'll look for a, a white jacket for the wires to go in and another solution. I'm in no hurry. It works fine. I'm happy with it. There's no rush to uh, to do anything differently. Let's take a look at the back uh, where the battery is, the on off switch. It's my solar charge controller. It's, uh, well, it's not charging now. I don't have this panel hooked up. It's my power, main path power off and on so I can turn it off to the panel. There's still power coming in here though, uh, but it goes on and off. Extra key in case this one gets lost. It's tied on, you never know. So the power from my solar charger doesn't go through this. It goes directly into the batteries here. And the batteries are in these boxes. It's just, just two automotive batteries. Uh, didn't go uh, and use marine. I had two automotive ones, so that's what I used. So again, the wires are run up and around through the, uh, the plastic molding along the side, or rubber molding, I guess, along the side. And that is how I've got that wired up. <laughs> My anchor light here, I had to remove the uh, the top of my mast cover. I had to drill through the foam that's in the top of the mast. It's about, I think there was about seven feet of foam uh, going in. So if you've got an eight foot long thing that you can drill with, you should be okay. So the wires go down through the mast. There's uh, only two wires going through. And they come out of the mast at that end. This is where my uh, anchor wires come out of the mast. If you look inside here, you can see there's a little bit of extra wire that I've left in there. Just in case, if I have to change the light, I can pull another few inches of wire out. But again, it's uh, the plug is a, uh, a side marker light plug for trailer. It's made for outdoors, it seems to work fine. So that's my uh, my siren. I don't see any problems with it uh, leaking or that. Thanks for watching. Click the uh, subscribe thing and uh, the other clicky things. Thanks.